Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about glycolysis. So let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Now, when we're talking glycolysis, uh, we, want, we want to think about is that this is one of the steps of cellular respiration. The idea of the oxidation of glucose. Uh, and there are typically five, but the last two are put together because they're side by side and happening kind of in tandem. Uh, but it's the idea of glycolysis, pyruvate oxidation, uh, the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, chemosmosis, and all these will have their own uh, for the most part videos so we'll talk in depth about each of them uh, glycolysis Krebs cycle I mean there's a little bit of ATP made which is the the, the whole purpose of this but when we get to uh, step four the electron transport chain chemosmosis we're gonna see a bunch of ATP made uh, it's in that metaphor that that I used uh, in six and it, uh, you'll hear a bunch in class the idea of uh, investing a little bit getting a bunch in return what do you think about it as a firecracker uh, a little bit of energy used to make it but a huge explosion uh, you think about uh, the idea of the, mach the mythical machine that I refer to where you put a dollar in and get five dollars back you can take one of those dollars and put it in the machine and get five dollars back we would all do that all day long but what you're going to see is, great as it sounds, getting a $5 bill back, what you're going to see is that ultimately uh, the metaphor should be that I put a $2 in the machine and I get $36 out of the machine. And we certainly would all of us do that. We wouldn't go to work. We wouldn't uh, go play. We would just stand at that machine and just put those $2 in as often as we can. Then we can go play. All right, so what we're looking at here, and it's not a big thumb, no. Uh, this is the left side of a mitochondria. And what you see here is the locations of all of the different steps uh, of cellular respiration. And whereas we go through each step, you can see that we get deeper and deeper into the mitochondria uh, until we almost work our way across the other side, but, but not quite. So the things to think about are the locations, and these are important because these are certainly multiple choice uh, potential questions. But the idea of glycolysis happening out in the cytoplasm of the cell, and then then the glucose molecule moves into, or what's left of it moves into the mitochondria inside that uh, initial membrane for pyruvate oxidation, and then into the second, past the second membrane into the uh, inner inner membrane inside of that uh, middle uh, middle section for the Krebs cycle and then it moves off a little bit further to the other side the membrane for the ETC and the chemoosmosis so each of these locations are important to know where things are happening again if there are no other reason uh, because they are potential multiple choice questions but you're going to have other places to see this information uh, but just start start in putting in your mind these locations uh, connection with the steps all right so glycolysis and again you can see kind of a grade version of uh, that thumb but the, the thing to think about is glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm. It's actually outside of the mitochondria. And the whole purpose here is to take one glucose molecule, which has six carbons, uh, which we're going to see uh, examples of, or what that means or looks like. And it's going to be broken down into two three-carbon molecules that are called pyruvate. Uh, that's the end product of glycolysis and this is the 10-step 
uh, process. Uh, but other end products besides the two pyruvates, uh, there's going to be four total ATP made. Okay, and and it's got two net ATP because we're going to use two to get the whole process started. Uh, so we're going to use two. We're going to make four for a net of two. Uh, and then we're also going to have two NADHs. So we're going to see our first look at those electron carriers. Uh, basically, two, two friends are going to come along and get two truckloads uh, full of your stuff to help you move. NADHs are going to be made. So uh, for glycolysis, when it comes to end products, you want to be thinking twos. Okay, two pyruvates, two net ATP to NADHs and again these end products are important to to essentially memorize uh, because they are also highly potential multiple choice questions alright so here is uh, an initial breakdown of Glycolysis from a information standpoint, the next slide we look at has a breakdown of the of the ten steps, uh, which we'll do here and we will certainly do uh, in class. Uh, but you want to think of glycolysis as two parts. Uh, they're not easily it's not broken into into half, uh, but there are two parts: your investment stage and your energy producing stage. Uh, just like if you go to uh, you got you're at the mall and you've got a little kid and they want to ride the rocking horse or one of those cars or just or a train or whatever those little carnival type uh, ride things. You've got to put some money into it first and then the machine kicks into gear. Uh, this is the same way. You got your you got to you got to use something to get them started. And in the energy investment stage, those two ATP molecules are used. And those phosphates are removed, energy is released, that's exergonic. Okay, and then an inorganic reaction occurs because the pro those phosphates are added to the glucose molecule. So we've got redox going on, we've got the, the, the two reactions going on. Uh, as we've talked many times, these things happen in tandem, and uh, right off the bat, boom, there they are. The second part second stage of glycolysis is the energy producing stage and you can see the yellow uh, ATPs there in the diagram beside me uh, four ATP molecules are made uh, and again uh, four made used to so you got a net of two uh, so again and you can see the NADHs uh, but they are they're coming along and an enzyme we saw an example we saw a picture of this they will attach to an enzyme uh, the glucose molecule will be attached to an enzyme the same enzyme and those H's will be removed and put onto the NAD molecule and that will happen twice the thing to think about is that when that six carbon molecule is broken into two three carbon molecules now you have two lines uh, and both are happening simultaneously but what you want to also think about in the future through the rest of these stages is that now there are two molecules that are being worked on instead of one and so the the pictures will always show one of them what's happening to one but it's also happening to the other one. So when you look at a diagram, like the Krebs cycle will be a good example, and I'll point this out. If you look at the diagram, and then you look at the list of end products, the numbers don't match up. Uh, the end product list takes into play having two of the molecules, but what you'll see in the picture is just the one. So you just gotta recognize that, but I'll point that out at all times. But again, we're making two ATP molecules, or net two, we're making two NADHs, and we've got two molecules of pyruvate. All right, so here is a list, or here is the the ten steps that I that I promised you, and it starts at the very top, far left, in that corner right here, right beside me. 
that's the glucose molecule and you can see the ATP molecule is being used, the second ATP molecule is being used to, to generate, to start uh, the process. And the words in red, those are the enzymes that are doing this, uh, doing this process. Uh, and again, I won't ever ask you the names of those. That's, that's too depth. We want to understand what's happening, not a memorization of each little part, but you know, but just recognize that's what those are and you, you can see the split down there at the very far end uh, all the least uh, splits the molecule into those two three carbon molecules and again from this point there you got to recognize that what's happening to one is happening to the other uh, but you can see with the NADH is that's in green down there and again you only see one but you know two are being made and it's because it's happening to the other molecule as well and then you can see along the bottom row coming back towards my picture the two ATP molecules being made but recognize that there are uh, a second molecule that is happening to so for a net of two making four total uh, those, so those are the ten steps and we'll break those down in class in a much deeper manner uh, but let me talk about a test question hint because it always comes up somebody gets caught by this the multiple choice questions uh, can talk about the breakdown of glucose in products in a couple of ways. It can mention a particular stage like glycolysis, like Krebs cycle, uh, like ETC or the chemoosmosis. If it, if it mentions a particular step in the process, then it wants only in products for that step. But if you look at the question and it doesn't mention a particular step then it wants grand total numbers uh, so like if the question says during glycolysis how many ATP are made it wants four but if it says a breakdown of glucose but doesn't mention the step then it wants grand total numbers and that will be uh, 36 but so again I just want to point that out so be sure when you're reading those questions You've got to identify, are we talking about a particular step or are we taking our grand total numbers? All right, so here is, and if it's in the PowerPoint, we'll point these out in class. Uh, you've got these summary summary stages, and again, this information we've all seen, we've seen, but these purple boxes are going to be the ones that you really want to pay attention to because they have all the information uh, and each step has its own, but it builds it as it goes. And so when we get to the end of the PowerPoint, uh, slide 44 is the one that has all of them. And when we get to that slide, we'll point that out as well. But you can see those purple boxes. We've got glycolysis, uh, the state. We've got the cytoplasm name. We've got the starting materials. And we've got the end products, those two, two, twos. So when you think glycolysis, you want to think twos. Two pyruvates, two ATPs, two NADH molecules. And this diagram here, you'll see sprinkled throughout the PowerPoint. It's the whole process, and it just kind of as you as you follow along, uh, you can get to uh, each. But you can kind of see the end products down there. Six carbon dioxide interventions are going to get made. Ten NADHs. 2 FADHs, 4 ATP, uh, until we get to the very end. Uh, so we'll see these sprinkled throughout. Uh, and it's kind of a summary. Here's where you are, kind of a map. Well, that's our uh, video for glycolysis, uh, part one. When we come back next time, we'll be looking at part two. So we'll see you then.